The Mega Millions lottery jackpot is now record-breaking $540 million, and people are lining up to get their tickets. But does a $70 billion a year lottery business do enough to help states facing steep budget deficits? Remember, that's supposed to be the intention. Well, my next guest is a former Massachusetts state representative. That state spends more than $860 per adult on the lottery. That's three times the national average. Joining us from Boston is Jeffrey Beckwith, who now runs the nonprofit lobby group, the Massachusetts Municipal Association. So, Jeffrey, how many tickets did you buy? I have 20 tickets sitting in my wallet right here, right now. <laughs> well, apparently, you must be one of those uh, Massachusetts folks that, that we have done analysis of. Your state seems to spend much more than average, three times the average person on lottery. Why is that? Well, uh, Massachusetts has a history, f four decades, of really one of the most su successful lotteries in the nation. Uh, and, and that's because a huge amount of the money, 69 percent, almost 70 percent, actually goes back to, uh, to people as prizes. So it's a very rewarding game. And also the proceeds uh, go uh, primarily to cities and towns. So the, the, when people play the lottery, not only do they get a lot of prize money, uh, but they also uh, send the, the profits essentially back uh, to uh, fund police, uh, fire, uh, and school services. Yeah, well, according to the Bloomberg rankings sucker index, that's the official name. I didn't give it that name. Uh, you're right. Lottery spending in Massachusetts is um, at the highest, but the payouts are the most generous as well versus any other state. But when, when you look at this in the scheme of things, is this really the most efficient way to fund government programs? Well, what's interesting is the lottery started out, it was very small, but then it became very well run in Massachusetts. And it is generated uh, a, on a regular basis a huge amount. Now, over $800 million of what's called local aid. It goes back directly to cities and towns to fund municipal services. That's in addition to state tax dollars uh, that uh, is, are used to, to supplement local aid uh, programs for schools and for municipal uh, municipal uh, programs. The interesting part of the state lottery here in Massachusetts is that it has been much more consistent in terms of local aid than state tax revenues because during a recession when state tax revenues fall the state legislature and the governor have actually cut local aid. We're down 500 million dollars in terms of direct local aid to cities and towns now from state tax dollars but the lottery has continued to be much more consistent. So it supplements state tax revenues and, and adds a, a, a layer of protection. It's really a lifeline for municipalities, especially now during difficult financial times. Well, you're a former lawmaker. Would you like to see more of these lotteries held in your state? Can they continue to be effective if you have more of them? Well, it's interesting. I think that the lottery is, uh, I don't want to say maxed out its potential, but it, it actually does a lot of churning. It replaces old games with new games. There's no enthusiasm gap when it comes to the Massachusetts lottery uh, because it's kept fresh and volume of sales is up over $4 billion on a consistent basis. So uh, I'm not sure that they could expand the lottery much more. We've reached a, a really high potential um, in, in, in realized what I think is probably the gold standard for lotteries across the country. How would you like to see more of these funds used? Where's the biggest need? Well, the, the biggest need right now is for uh, police and fire protection, for uh, our roads, uh, for uh, the kinds of municipal services that really build a quality of life in a school, parks, uh, recreation programs, senior programs, youth programs. And the, and the very good part about lottery aid when it goes back to cities and towns is every community gets a share and they get to decide what the local need is and how to appropriate it. So we have local taxpayers, uh, volunteers mostly, uh, determining how best to, to use the money to, to provide services to keep uh, residents and families there and, and attract businesses. All right. Well, Jeffrey, good luck. I hope the odds are in your Thank favor you. of those 20 tickets you bought. <laughs> well, it's okay. one out of uh, 700 and, uh, 176 million dollars, but I, I think uh, I'll take my chances. All right.